walls and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight. By all that you hold dear on this good earth, I bid you stand, men of the West! Run, bitch! Run! What's going on subscribers? General Tony here coming back with the first video of the day. Now I'm not quite sure if I actually told you guys yesterday but I was going to gem my Inferno Towers as I wanted to bring you a brand new troll base but I wanted it to incorporate Inferno Towers so that is exactly what I've done here. You can see we have these damn right sexy level 2 Inferno Towers. Now they do look so much better than level 1 but even at level 3, wait whoa whoa we changed it there. Even at level 3 they look really really good guys. You can see they add that little bit of, thick, bit of thickness to them. It gets thicker as you upgrade it. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. So we have a brand new troll base to show you as I said. It's got four defensive replays, some of which I haven't even seen. Now we have actually added about 70 trophies using this base. We did take on about, how many defenses did we actually take on? Let's see where we can find, I think it was this one here, this one here guys. So you can see 40%, so we won the first, second and third and fourth defense. Now we did do this overnight, so I wasn't able to restock the clan castle and do the bombs and all of that sort of stuff. We then lost the defense, we won another, and then lost another. So it wasn't bad, guys. We won about 70 trophies overall, which is uh, pretty decent in my book, to be honest. So now we have these level 2 Inferno Towers. We are going to be bringing you some better gameplay, guys. Now, we are going to be doing tomorrow's uh, Q&A inside of War, so it's going to be a live stream. So if you have any questions for me, guys, leave them down in the comment section down below. I did start a Q&A taking your guys' questions a couple of days ago. I've got so many so far, but if you have any extra ones to add, feel free to do that. We are going to be doing the answers, the questions and answers inside of tomorrow's video. It's probably going to be about 30 minutes long, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. The shout out today, shout out is also going to come in the second video of the day, guys. If you didn't know, we do a new shout out to someone, a random person, every single day. If you want to have a chance to win that shout out, sub to the channel and enter the competition that I do regularly. So let's waste no further time, guys. Let's go into the first defense. Let's see what we're up against. So coming right at us is, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that name. And I definitely don't know how to pronounce that clan. So this guy's coming at us straight away with a rage spell. Pretty interesting. So he's got his little wall breakers in there. Definitely would say that was a bit of a waste of a rage spell, I would say. You only managed to get the Archer Tower down with it. Pretty poor, to be honest. Nothing in the Clan Castle, so that means uh, that this, this well, we showed you there were about 8 or 9 attacks done on our base. As I said, the bombs and a lot of the stuff weren't actually restocked. It appears this was one of them. So these Giants have done some serious damage, I'm not going to lie. The Expos are connecting onto the Menagent to take a few of them down. The Wizard Tower's done a lot of damage to them. Now, they do have these little Archers, these little Chicas moving in on our loot storage. Now, I have to say, guys, I did notice a lot of people were attacking my Dark Elixir. And I actually changed the storage position towards the end. So you're going to see in a few last defenses, the base is changed slightly. That guy actually gave up at 28%, and we got 28 trophies. Now, that is a little bit weird. So we are kicking off straight into defense number two, guys, and something I'm starting to see a lot more regularly, pretty much since I've started using them, is earthquake spells. Now, I do use them on Town Hall 10s all the time, especially in war, and I am seeing them a lot more, especially in the Masters Leagues, the Higher Crystal Leagues. I'm guessing a lot of people are using them in Champions and, of course, Titans League. We'll see as I slowly creep up towards there. So this guy's coming with his earthquake spells. He obviously wants to win. He wouldn't have dropped them without that. Now, he's using a Barch army. He's got his heroes there. He does have a few rage spells, but he is going to be connected with our inferno towers now these are set to multi so unless he can get his heroes right in there and not sustain too much damage he's not going to be able to take the town hall nor is he going to be able to take our storages now these are max barge armies now the barbarians are going to be quite a while to kill i think as well is it going to be a double whammy oh my god they are sustaining so many losses there but they've got that rage spell right inside here the barbarians come the archers are following just behind triple rage spell right there triple or double i'm not too sure Level 16 and level 15 heroes, decent level heroes, they got the gold, those storage is down, now they are smacking that town hall, it is falling guys, he's going to get the win here, we have managed to take down his king, his queen's going down slowly, look at those inferno tower beams all over the place, doing some serious damage to his barch units, one little lonely Larry just got absolutely executed by his bitch there, done serious damage to him as well, now he does have a couple of big boys walking around the outside, level 7, ooh, level 7 giants, let's see the damage, look at the damage the inferno towers do, absolutely nothing, look how long it takes to take their health down that's the expo doing most of the damage to him he's about to fall down and there we go so we got the uh, what did they get 29 percent they got one star we lost five cups not too bad guys 
So, let's see what we've got in store for you for raid number three. Now, we did manage to restock our clan castle, I believe. Yes, we have. We got some sexy little archers inside of there. One cheeky little wall breaker. I like it. I like it. And, of course, a dragon. Oh, and I missed the potter just behind as well. Let's see what we're doing. Oh, my God. This is going to be perfect. Is he going to do it? Is oh, oh, damn. That was like a little glitch. He dropped it, picked it back up. Smart. It's smart, guys. Clash of Clans seem to have fixed the wall breaker II. He didn't manage to blow himself up there, but he still, he kind of distracted them a little bit. The dragon's not really going to be able to do much here because there is a potter absolutely annihilating his bum hole. So he's been taken out. You've got the giants moving in now. Not level 7, they are level 6. All these little bombs ticking off though. Doing a little bit of damage to them and he doesn't actually have a heal spell. Now there are 6 little bombs down there. We've done quite a little bit of damage to his healers. Not his healers, sorry, his archers as well. Double wizard tower whammy. That is what I like to see. You can see he dropped his jump spell in there because he was sustaining quite a lot of damage. Archer towers are going to go down pretty quickly, I must admit. But we still have the wizard towers doing a bit of damage. Now the jump spell is going to allow the potters, the queen, and of course those archers inside of there. I don't know. They've managed to take the dark elixir. I think this was the last raid I'd done before I actually moved the dark elixir. Last raid on defense, I mean. So you can see the giants have pretty much been taken out. His queen didn't decide to go into there, which is good because she's actually avoided taking that gold storage. I don't really have too much elixir on the map, so as long as we can protect the gold, it's going to be all good. She's used her special ability, and he's going to give up there. Now he didn't really have any troops left. Could have got maybe a few more percentage points, but he definitely... Definitely wouldn't have got the win. So a raid I was waiting for. I was waiting to be hit by golems. 17 max giants, two level two golems. Level two, sorry, level three golems. Couple of max potters as well. He's got quite a few little archers, not too many. He's got level five king and queen. It looks quite cute at that level, to be fair. With the level, the level seven giants, level five heroes. It's pretty strange. I'm not gonna lie. He's got two heal spells, two rage spells, and one single poison. Doesn't appear to be anything in the CC, which is disappointing, guys. I know it's disappointing. I'm sorry I couldn't restock that, but I was asleep at most of these raids. The first. Four or five, I actually had troops inside of there, but we didn't manage to show the replays of them because Clash of Clans likes to wipe out all raids beneath the top four. Unfortunately, you can see that Inferno Tower, though. It's going to work. Taking out a few of the troops. Potters are connecting onto it now. It's got decent hit points, guys. Very decent hit points indeed. Terzas have popped up, done a little bit of damage to them. Now, there were a couple of big bombs, but none of them really seem to have been triggered. All of the defenses I've shown you. We've triggered one. That's about it. There's one inside of there. There's another one in there. And I can't remember where I placed the last two. Sorry, there's one in there as well. We placed a couple around. Not too many have gone off in all four of these defensive replays. You can see, though, they are going for the victory. But are they going to be able to get the Town Hall? Now, that is going to be the question. So he's got like a little pack here. Mr. Potter is leading his girlfriends all the way around the outside. It's like his family there. They are doing some serious damage though. Level 7 archers. They may sound weak. They may look weak. But they are certainly going to pack a punch guys. Taking down my wizard tower like it was nothing as well. Level 7 giants are absolutely tanking it. Oh it's a golem not a giant sorry I was about to say. Look at that. That is an absolute beast. Inferno tower. Level 2 inferno tower locked onto it. Doing barely any damage. Can you imagine though if that was set to single it would have absolutely fried that golem so long ago. That stone giant is doing some serious damage. We've got little Larry's here. This is where it could become interesting. Little Larry's are going to start. Oh yes, a nine pack. How many have we got? Nine or six? Oh, they're connecting onto the town hall. We need to take them down as quick as possible. Larry's aren't going to be... Oh, we just lost them. The golem exploded so we lost the Larry's. It looks like they're going to get the town hall, guys. Nothing inside of our range, so we're going to just speed this up now. There's no point watching a couple of archers shoot the town hall. So we did actually lose this by, what is it going to be, 55, 56%, and they got a two-star on our base. Interesting, interesting, to say the least. Inferno Tower fried those last little couple of archers off, and it ends on 55%. They got quite a bit of our gold. Now, I may leave troll bases for a couple of days, guys, until we get back into Champions League because I'm noticing I'm losing way too much loot. I'm not able to do upgrades, and I'm just not able to push fast enough. So we are going to do a new shout-out in the second video, but we're going to do the winner of yesterday's right now. So the winner of yesterday's shout-out goes to Stereo Sonic. Now, he did give an Instagram account, guys, so if you want to check him out, feel free. I believe he posted a couple of Clash of Clans photos. Check him out if you want, guys. If you want to win a shout-out, stay tuned for the second video of the day. We will be starting it inside of that. Thanks for watching the first video of the day, guys. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe now. If any of you want some free gems, click the first link in the description box down below. Don't forget, we are doing a $100 gift card giveaway, which ends next Friday for 80,000 subscribers. I've already told you how to enter, but if you forgot it, all you have to do is click the first link down below in the description box. Download a minimum of five dollars worth of apps once you've done that you're automatically entered and i will announce the winner next friday when we hit 80,000 subs i will see you in a couple of hours time guys peace out